Hey foodies, welcome to Cooking Shooking. In this video, we are going to make a recipe of pineapple upside down cake. This is absolutely flavorful. We are going to make it in a cooker which makes it super easy. And the best part is the cake is super delicious and soft as you can see right now. The flavor of pineapple and this super spongy cake is amazing. So let's begin. The first step in the recipe is to make the topping for the cake. So here I have a pan. In this I am going to add 1 third cup of brown sugar. If you don't have brown sugar you can also use demerara sugar. Along with the sugar I am going to add 2 tablespoons of butter and 1 fourth cup of water. We will cook this until this is thick and bubbly. First in medium flame cook until the butter is melted. After the butter is melted, you can lower the flame and cook further until it is thick and you see small bubbles like this. This will take about 3 minutes or so. So the topping for our cake is done. Here I have a 7 inch cake tin. You do not have to grease it or place a butter paper. Just add the brown sugar topping we made into this. Since the brown sugar topping was piping hot, we will wait for a minute. After it has stopped bubbling inside the cake tin, we will place the pineapple inside the cake tin. Here I am using sliced pineapple. This one is tinned pineapple but don't worry you can also use fresh pineapple. Place some chopped pineapple in the corners. Inside the ring, we have to add cherries. Here I am using red cherries, if you do not have red cherries or fresh cherries, you can also use karondas. This is done and ready, now we will preheat our cooker. So here I have my cooker, you can use any large utensil with a lid. Inside the cooker, we are going to add about 1 cup of salt. If you have been seeing my videos then you know, I use the salt multiple times, that is the reason the salt looks a little black. We will spread the salt. After that we will place a ring cutter or a metal bowl which can increase the height from the salt. Quickly we are going to cover the cooker without the whistle and the rubber gasket. Keep the flame high and heat for 10 minutes. Meanwhile we will prepare the dry ingredients. So here I have the mixing bowl and the sifter. I am adding 1 cup of maida or plain flour which is about 130 grams. 1 4th cup of sugar, here I am using powdered sugar, 1 4th teaspoon of baking soda and 1 teaspoon of baking powder. We are going to give all of these a mix, after that we are going to sift it. This step of sifting the dry ingredients will aerate it which means it will lighten it and also mix all of them evenly, I mean mix the baking powder and baking soda evenly. So this is done and ready, now we are going to prepare the wet ingredients. So here I have a bigger mixing bowl, in this I am going to add 1 4th cup of butter which is about 60 grams, half a cup of condensed milk, this is about 160 gram. These both are at room temperature and if you do not have condensed milk then you can also make it at home. You can click the i card above to see how. We basically have to whip the butter and condensed milk really well for 2-3 to three minutes. You can use a spoon or a whisk like this and then continuously mix it until it is very smooth, light and luscious like this. So the butter and condensed milk is also ready. Now we will take a glass or a jug and then add half a cup of milk. Along with the room temperature milk I am going to add half a cup of pineapple juice or the liquid from the pineapple tin. I am also adding 1 teaspoon of vinegar. We will give it a mix and then keep it aside for 2 minutes. After 2 minutes we will add half of this liquid to the butter and condensed milk and then loosen the consistency of this by giving it a mix. This looks good, now we are going to add the dry ingredients and then give it a final mix. The cake batter is almost ready, it looks thick and luscious but it is too thick right now. So we are going to add the remaining milk and vinegar mixture. That should be good. Give it a final mix and then your batter will be ready. 
You can also use a spatula at the end and fold the sides. This will ensure everything is well combined. Now we will transfer the batter to the cake tin. You do not have to grease the cake tin guys. As I mentioned before, this is a 7 inch cake tin. The batter is inside. Now we are going to transfer it inside the cooker. Be quick guys, after placing the cake tin inside, you can see there is no gasket, I mean no rubber gasket and no whistle. Cover it, keep the flame medium and then let it bake inside the cooker for 30 to 35 minutes. Sometimes it can also take longer. And if you want to bake it in an oven, you can bake it at 180 degrees celsius for about 30 minutes. This oven one is with fresh pineapples. Time over guys, it's done. Let me take it out and after taking the cake out, let it cool down for about 10 minutes. After that you can flip it over. By the way, the one we made in the cooker is also ready. How to check if the cake is ready? You can use a toothpick or a knife, poke it inside the cake. If it comes out clean and dry, the cake is done. We will take it out and then wait for 10 minutes, flip it over and then your cake will be ready to serve. This one is the one we made inside the oven. I used a weird pineapple eye remover tool so it looks a little bit different but anyways you can see the cake looks delicious. Similarly we will take out the cake we made inside the cooker. Just use a small knife and run it over the edges of the cake tin and then flip it over to a plate, tap it once or twice and you will feel the cake leave the cake tin take out the cake tin and your cake is done looks sensational you can serve it immediately or wait for 30 minutes and then slice as you can see right now the cake looks absolutely delicious and it is very spongy as well i don't know why i didn't make it for so long everyone loves this pineapple cake kids and adults you should also try this one out just see the slice spongy soft and that pineapple and cherry on top just takes it to the next level. But delicious guys, so you should also try it. Once you do try, let me know how it goes for you. I hope to receive your comments in the comment section down below. Do remember to click the subscribe button below this video which is in the red color. Beside that red subscribe button, after you click it, there will be a bell icon. Click that and you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Bye for now. Take care. Happy cooking.